CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 86 through 90. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 86. Which of the following would most likely be used to extend the life of a compute device? The answer is C. Proper ventilation. Maintaining proper ventilation is crucial for extending the lifespan of a compute device. Adequate airflow helps dissipate heat, preventing overheating and thermal stress, which can lead to hardware failure. By ensuring that devices stay cool, proper ventilation directly contributes to the longevity and reliable performance of compute devices. Question 87. A technician is called to repair a Windows 10 laptop that experienced a sudden failure. During the boot process, the system prompts for a key, but the administrator password does not work. Which key does the technician most likely need to access the laptop and continue the repair? The answer is D. BitLocker Recovery Key. BitLocker is a disk encryption feature in Windows 10 that protects data by encrypting the entire drive. If there is a sudden failure or significant hardware change, BitLocker might require the recovery key to ensure that unauthorized users cannot access the encrypted data. The recovery key is a unique 48-digit numerical password generated when BitLocker is first enabled. It is different from the administrator password and is specifically used to unlock the encrypted drive when normal authentication methods fail. Question 88. To execute commands on their macOS device via the command line interface, which built-in application should the user launch? The answer is C. Terminal. Terminal, a native application on macOS, grants users access to the command line interface. Through text-based commands, users can execute a variety of actions, such as manipulating files, running scripts, installing software, and more. This tool is invaluable for developers, system administrators, and advanced users seeking to manage and tailor their macOS environment to their needs. Question 89. During a routine check on a macOS system, a technician notices signs of ransomware, including a request for payment using cryptocurrency. Upon verifying the malware symptoms, what should the technician do first? The answer is A. Quarantine the infected system. When dealing with a suspected malware infection, the first priority is to prevent the malware from spreading further. Disconnecting the infected device from the network helps contain the malware and prevents it from communicating with other devices or networks. This action can stop the malware from spreading to other systems and potentially causing further damage or data breaches. Question 90. A gaming server suddenly experiences a significant slowdown in its services, causing frustration among its users. Upon investigation, the security team identifies malware as the culprit. What type of infection is the server most likely experiencing? The answer is A. Botnet. In this scenario, the server has likely fallen victim to botnet malware, which covertly hijacks the system, transforming it into a zombie, under the command of a remote attacker. Once compromised, the server becomes part of a vast network known as a botnet. Through sophisticated remote control mechanisms, the attacker harnesses the collective computing power of this compromised device. With enough zombies at their disposal, an attacker can orchestrate a distributed denial-of-service (DDoS) attack against their chosen target. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.